who had Devin Allen running 1284 <laughs> yeah. in the first race of the meet being the lead story before the race started? Like, did, did anyone think Devin Allen was about to put on something incredible like that to like no. lead all shows? No, that's a great point. I thought we had had our fill of high hurdle news this weekend. I mean, I thought Hollywood would win. I thought it would be a quick time, and that would be that. I mean, Allen's been running really well, but 1284, number three in history, beats Holloway by a considerable margin. Sometimes you see the fast time, and then sometimes you see the big victory, and they happen in different places at different times. Allen combined two into one here. He got the amazing time, and he did it while beating the best guy in the world by a sizable margin. I mean, 1284, his best before this was 1299. And I knew he had a good shot at running quickly this year. He had mentioned, I'm going to go to the NFL. But first, right, what do you want to do? He had two goals this year, world record and world champion. And we all thought, oh, that would be crazy because that means you've got to beat Grant Holloway and you have to run faster than anybody else in history. Maybe he was on to something, Gordon. Maybe he knew something we didn't. Maybe that Eagles yeah. contract spurred him on here because, again, no guarantees. I mean, what, Grant ran, what, 1281 at semis uh, USAs? And then yeah. ne never ran faster. So you never know when the fast time is going to come. But he's, it's not a ridiculous conversation because he got the win and he got the fast time. Yeah, it's beyond ridiculous. It's like, it's a completely normal thing. I mean, even though Grant Holloway, you could, I would say, is the best hurdler in the world, Grant Holloway has shown that he can lose. He lost at the Olympic final, right? He, mm -hmm. That's really his only loss, and he just lost today. So mm -hmm. he doesn't lose that often, but there's nothing perfect about Grant. He does have flaws. He's great. He's one of the all-time greats, but he has flaws. And if you are going to be in 1280 shape, 1280, 1290 fitness, that is enough mm -hmm. to beat Grant Holloway. And now we're seeing Devin Allen not just be a fringe 13 flat low guy, but now being, hey, I can break 13, but I can just smash it. I can run 1284. I mean, I don't even think he thought, I mean, he's, he said he wanted to break the world record. So I guess he did think this. He, he did think that. He literally he said he wanted it, it. Which is kind of crazy yeah. to think that when your PR is 1299 and you say, I'm going to run 1279. A right. year later, it's kind of crazy, but he said 1284. That's very close. And the way he's running, he's been being consistent. He's been looking good. He's been healthy. He has ultimate motivation because he kind of has that, like, I want to end, you know, exactly, this yeah. season yeah. in Eugene in, on my home track, my home college track, and then two yep. days later, fly to Philly for OTAs represent the Eagles. I'm wearing a Fly Eagles Fly hat in mm -hmm. solidarity with my boy Devin Allen as a big Eagles fan. I hope he makes the team now because, ooh, <laughs> obviously he's going to make the U.S. team, but I hope he makes the, the Eagles 53-man roster because, man, 1284, whew, that's quick. When's the last time Holloway lost by that much? I mean, maybe in that 2019 season, but when he lost to Parchment in the Olympics, it was right at the line. He got a good start. It's just Allen flew by him on the second half of the race. Uh, I looked it up, seven and two all time, all over Allen, and he's won the last seven, going back to the beginning of 18. Allen won in 17, Allen won in 18, and then 19 on, it's been all Holloway, which is what you'd expect based on how well Grant Holloway has run during that time. But yeah, this one stunned me, both in and terms of time and the margin of victory. We talk about that margin of victory. You could argue that maybe Holloway is a little rusty. We've talked about this. He hasn't been running a lot. He, sure. he pulled out sure. of that Bermuda meet. He just isn't on the same flow that he was on during indoors. But even if Holloway had a good race and runs 1295, which is probably what yeah. you would expect from yeah. a Grant Holloway, he's still going to get beat. Like this was yeah. not a Holloway bad race, therefore Allen won. Even if Holloway had a great race, Allen is winning right. this race. No, you're 100% right, which is why I thought it was notable that he checked both of those boxes. Because if Holloway isn't in the race and he still runs 84, people have been like, wow, what would happen if Holloway was in that race? 
must have been fast conditions. Could Holly could he have broken the world record in that race? And if it was run in, you know, 13-2, 13-3, what would we say? Oh, Grant's got the buy. He, he'll be ready when it's time. He's not sharp yet. But you can't say either of those things because Allen just went out and dominated this race and ran faster than he ever had. I think you talked about before of just it being his last season. And I've talked about that before, just the pressure being off. It's like, let me just go for it. I'm starting this new career in a little bit. My last season of track, I might as well have some fun and just go for it. I'm going to put these big goals out there. If I don't get them, who cares? I'm about to be in the NFL. Like those problems are way bigger than whatever problems I'll have in track. And and I think part of that might be what, what's going on here. I mean, he looked good early in the season. A lot of 13 lows, very consistent. Indoors looked pretty good. It wasn't great indoors, but was really solid. And now, man, I mean, how bummed are you? Well, as an Eagles fan, you're going to be stoked. But like, how bummed are you going to be if he actually does this and then he walks away from track? Like he runs 1281 or something <laughs> or 12 or gets it runs 1279. It's like, yep. See you guys. I mean, I don't think he would walk away. Cause I think he would try to make the team. I mean, no one is hurtling in November on Thanksgiving weekend in the NFL, right? No one is hurtling yeah, yeah. really much, even in the playoffs. Like the football season is basically the polar opposite of the track season. So mm-hmm. if he goes out there and breaks a world record and wins a world title, and then goes plays football. I think he basically would only come back to track if it's worth it. Like if football is not right, going perfectly, right. or if it's perfect, like marketing opportunities. Because then he's now he's an NFL player in the Diamond League mm-hmm. circuit, more sponsorship. Like I don't think he's going to retire. I think he's going to just do whatever is best for the situation that presents itself. As we see how July unfolds, and ultimately his first year as potentially being a football player unfolds. Well, since he's on the Eagles, that probably means what? January, he won't be doing anything. Even late December. When's the last game? Oh, they're going to be playing into February because we're, we're you guys won't be, you guys won't be so playing much. He's going to be just... he's going to be busy all the way to like mid February. He's going to be in the Pro Bowl. <laughs> it's going to be a long long season. He'll have uh, he'll have plenty of time to to focus back on track. He's having a good full indoor season. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I just, I just interpret it as like if he makes the roster, it's like the focus is going to be on football, and he'll feel like I've achieved everything I can. Tra- I've done this track thing. I'm going to stay locked in. All right, you'll be ready to go February 13th, 2023, <laughs> because February 12th, 2023 is the date of the Super Bowl. February 13th, mark your calendars. The debut of yeah. Devin Allen's 2023 track season. It'll be a Monday. All right, let's talk.